we're gonna manipulate left hand side which is 1 plus 1 over tangent squared of a times 1 plus 1 over cotangent squared of a and now we're gonna find the common denominator so we get tangent squared of a plus 1 over tangent squared of a and times cotangent squared of a plus 1 over cotangent squared of a and now we know trigonometric identity is that 1 plus tangent squared of a equal to secant squared of a and 1 plus cotangent squared of a equal to cosecant squared of a so we're gonna use this and we have in the numerator secant squared of a or tangent squared of a and here we get cosecant squared of a or cotangent squared of a so we know that secant squared of a equal to 1 over cosine squared of a and tangent squared of a equal to sine squared of a or cosine squared of a and here cosecant squared of a equal to 1 over sine squared of a whereas cotangent squared of a equal to cosine squared of a or sine squared of a so we can cancel cosine squared of a and sine squared of a and we get 1 over sine squared of a times 1 over cosine squared of a and we know to can trade identities at sine squared of a plus cosine squared of a equal to 1 so we rewrite cosine squared of a as 1 minus sine squared of a and we get 1 over sine squared of a minus sine of a to the fourth power so we get right hand side and the identity is proved